Hello, we are, today we are going to learn about the thermistor characteristics. The aim of the experiment, you are going to see that one here. So, this is the thermistor character, temperature characteristic of the thermistor. The aim you are going to see here that to draw the temperature versus characteristics. Okay. So, thermistor and evaluate the constants. So, we are going to see that one. This is the characteristic. We are going to draw the graphs characteristics and we have to evaluate the constants here. So temperature coefficient resistance this is uh, indicated with uh, alpha and uh, the value of constant A and uh, the value of constant B we are going to evaluate I mean, aim of the experiment this is this is our aim of the experiment okay right so what is thermistor thermistor we are going to observe that one so thermistor is a semiconductor material generally sintered semiconductor material so thermistor is a device whose whose resistance is very sensitive to temperature variation okay so here see that one there are three types of uh, thermistors we have so like a rod shape like a disc shape that is a bead shape we have that one so uh, in this laboratory we are used this one this is the disc shape we are using so this disc shape the thermistor we have inside now i want to open this one and i will show you that one in the operator so we have disc type we have here right this is your thermistor uh, total circuit diagram circuit and the apparatus this is the thermistor see observe that one so observe that one this is the how is that one this is the disc type of this type of thermistor black one we are going to observe see carefully observe black type of this one so this is this is called a thermistor i am pressed inside like a same like a energy gap inside the oil crude oil I have taken or engine oil I have taken anything I have taken I will be, uh, I'll going to place out inside the oil okay I will use that one screw and tighten it here that one using the screw okay now the apparatus what we required here that one majorly we have we are going for the thermistor next one is your micrometers okay next we are going to find the resistance some power supply to run the Wheatstone bridge generally we are using here Wheatstone bridge Wheatstone bridge is you know that one you have studied in a uh, uh, plus two intermediate so this is contain four resistance okay two are constant resistance 470 ohms 470 ohms so one is a thermistor where we disconnected here that from thermistor so another side we have to connect it here where we have to find out the resistor okay now simply thermistor generally uh, by which and bridge you are going to observe simply thermistor is a act as a resistance correct or not right here that one to run the circuit this Wheatstone bridge I have placed here some voltage okay it is ex exactly zero no zero to five volts we have so I'll keep it here some volts okay I'm not calculating how many how much volts we have if you want to calculate you place out here uh, multimeter and you find out okay so to run the circuit some I placed here voltage constant for the total experiments now so I have to take out the readings so you want to connect the circuit uh, connect that one this is a circuit diagram generally Wheatstone bridge um, uh, at center you have galvanometer in place of galvanometer I have taken micrometers if you take a good galvanometer not a problem with one so I connected to thermistor this is the thermistor this is the ther thermometer I will have I have a thermometer in my hand I have to place out here that one thermometer here okay so I embraced inside that one thermometer like this I embraced like this okay I embraced inside the oil okay we placed here rubber band otherwise uh, rubber you are taken taken otherwise you have the screw you have to tighten the this uh, thermometer right here that one so now so what is the working of the what is the symbol of the thermistor this is the symbol of the thermistor carefully observe so one line is going to end that one so like simple like a diode that one okay the material you are going to use that one semiconductor material the mixed of oxides cobalt manganese or, uh, like this magnesium or manganese okay simply so pure semiconductor we are going to use that one here Okay, now, now how to take out the readings we will go into observe that one just switch on the power switch on the power and uh, we are going to observe and switch on the heater power also switch on on position off position on position you go for that one slowly the heater will going to raise the temperature of oil I mean that one temperature of thermistor that is showing inside that one thermometer so it will go for up to 70 and switch off the this heater and switch on the same that one thermistor that one so it will going to rise up to here that one 90 90 or 100 now the slowly when you are uh, switched off that one slowly it is going to decrease uh, decreasing you have to take out the reading of that one resistor reading you have to take out the table you are going to see observe that one here 
temperature already is given temperature 90 85 so 80 75 70 like that so temperature uh, in degree centigrade temperature versus you have take out the resistance okay so now you start that one temperature at 90 90 you have to start so 90 what is the res resistance how you are going to take out the resistance okay 90 the knob will going to deflect it from the zero it is not exactly in uh, knob is zero so it is not in trans generally while well, i am going to connect this wire so this is the wire i am going to connect here so generally you are going to observe okay i am going to connect here and circuit i will show you that one so switch on this thing when i am going to switch on it is not uh, on position right now i'll go for that one it is it is Okay, when, when, when we are going to see that one, it is, uh, it is not switched on position. So, I will check out once that one. This is, yeah, I have to connect here another wire. Here, another wire is here. So, I will switch on this wire. Yeah. And I am going to switch on this one. You observe that one switch on position. So, the needle will go deflect from the zero. And temperature will come at 90 degrees. 90 degrees will come. So, it is not at zero. Using this knob, make it zero that one using the knob make it zero slowly so yeah slowly this uh, knob is going to make it zero so i'm using this one yeah make it zero then find out the value of this resistance what is the resistance we have that one here four this is uh, zero to one to four four point one four point one into hundred yeah here hundred it and not zero zero so it's the wrong one so four point one into hundred four hundred 400 you have to place out here that one the resistance value at 90 degrees 400 85 degrees what is the resistance like that you have to calculate here and uh, you are getting that one uh, uh, temperature versus the resistance value you are getting so, so see generally the student he is taking that one 90 degrees so then you have to convert that one in kelvins temperature in kelvins right temperature in kelvins means 90 plus 273 you have to add 85 plus 273 every for uh, every temperature you have to add 273 then we are getting these values 1 by t you do it t you have 1 by t so now the resistance we are getting from that uh, here here we are getting the resistance values every time make it zero uh, galvanometer and you find out what is the exactly what is the value here multiply with 100 and i am getting the value here like this okay so he got 25 28 we are getting 400 300 not a problem make it here that one uh, lnr uh, log base er we are getting the value he's taken the graph between uh, first graph temperature versus uh, here that one resistance okay the points you are getting like this and is drawn uh, you take out any one point curved point that is any one point means curved point generally you where it is going to curved uh, is a curved point is taken drawn one normal line the line will go to touch only that point will not going to touch total curve that one total graph so you take out uh, that where it is a point uh, uh, we have taken that point is taken as a r so he's considered is like it's r okay so this is uh, another point you have taken on the line on the line you have taken another point that is called r2 so this is called the downside i have taken another point on the line that is called r1 so this is called d2 this is called t1 substitute in the formula that is the uh, alpha value alpha is equal to delta r by delta t means r2 minus r1 by t2 minus t1 so he substituted he got some value that one uh, that is called alpha value you have to find out that one okay next second graph will go for that one so 1 by t versus uh, log uh, um, log r written is not written here log r so log base log base r log base r values now it is a compulsory you have to start that one from zero but uh, last graph if you start with zero or if you are not started with a zero it's not a problem he started with here 200, 290 this 300 290 you have to mention here that one x axis origin is uh, 300 290 not 200 this one to 290 so you have to compulsory mention and uh, you have to mention one unit value also so here it is not there is no chance like that you have to that one uh, compulsory you have to start with the zero so regularly increasing that one the points you are getting here somewhere so you have to draw that line like this right line downside it is going to coincidence this value is negative value that value will gives you that one log a log a negative value a is equal to e power I mean log inverse of this value it is there in e power in calculator you are getting some value 
so you take out any two points on that graph any two points any this one this one you take out uh, any two points you take out and you are getting y2 y1 here you draw like this x2 x1 you are getting that one find out the slope that is called a b y2 y1 x2 x1 and the formula you have calculated that one a b value this is the graph we are showing that one clearly log a so b value from the slope log a this value log a value so a is equal to log inverse of this value so you have find out alpha you are going to find out from that one here okay okay steen hurt and hurt formula this is the one this is uh, where we are going to calculate that one uh, the resistance value using the thermistor so this is the formula where uh, we have taken steen hurt and steen hurt formula first is given that one to find out the resistance using the thermistor so here r is the resistance a is a constant b is a constant t is the temperature a and b a values we are getting from the graph here the a we got we have that one and b we are calculated and uh, alpha we are calculating and substituting that one this values inside that one we are getting that one unknown resistance value so this is the first time steen hurt and hurt is given this uh, using the equation to find out using the the small uh, temperatures we have it gives you resistance value that one okay at last uh, final we are result we are going to write down here that one uh, temperature coefficient of resistance alpha value okay alpha value we are getting some value we are getting we are calculating from the table uh, the, sorry on the graph we are calculate alpha and uh, we are finding that one uh, a value b value that one okay so what is the thermistor uh, actually generally we have to say thermistor is two types you know what is the thermistor we are using that one is it ptc thermistor or ntc ptc means positive temperature coefficient ptc negative temperature coefficient ntc okay P we are generally in laboratory we are using that one uh, negative temperature coefficient that one. clear or not okay so generally we uh, observe that one okay so the questions are arising what is a galvanometer what is the resistance okay so generally what is the ammeter what is a then what is the steen hurt and hurt equations so how to find out the uh, thermistor constants okay so what is the range of thermistor and difference resistance okay what is the different thermistors we are using here that one okay what is the uses of thermistor so these are the general questions that people are asking in your Bible that one and carefully observe that one and uh, you have to uh, you have to read it and uh, give the Bible that one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.